Hello my friends, welcome to our channel. I am Chris and I thank you for watching this video. In this video, I want to clarify everything about the charging system, rectifiers, regulators and stators. If your motorcycle frequently burn out light bulbs or battery keep draining and you install new battery but it died again, something is wrong. In this video, we will address this issue. In old motorcycle regulators were only used to adjust the voltage. But today motorcycles have a many electronic devices. The fuel system, kilometer display, ECU, sensors and many other things. Now regulators also have other duties. The most important is what is the role of the regulators and why are they so important? 1. Rectification They convert the AC output of the stator to direct current DC as most electronic components require DC to operate. 2. Voltage adjustment Regulators adjust this DC voltage to a stable, usable level. Without this step, fluctuations could cause inconsistent operation or damage, especially to components with specific voltage tolerances. 3. Overvoltage protection. Regulators prevent excessive voltage from reaching downstream electronics, protecting circuits from potential spikes that could be damaging. The motorcycle regulator rectifier converts AC to DC and regulates voltage to protect the battery and electrical system. Here I have a several different examples of regulator and rectifier in following I will tell you how to use this there are different type of regulators and rectifier that depend on type of motorcycles and their stators stators are generally of two type DC and AC this is a DC stator and this is AC stator in all AC stators, we have a different side coil that is responsible to generating ignition and is not related to charging system. But the rest of are related to charging system and lighting system. But in DC stator, all coil are related to charging system and it has nothing to do with the ignition system and just the pickup trigger has a task of timing for ignition that's it there are several type of AC stator the oil type and dry which may have a four or more coil this is six pole but they all have an AC side coil, you can see. There are AC stators and each one has a different magneto. As you can see the size are different. This is for dry stator. and this magneto for oil stator in the must DC stator we have a three output with the same color usually yellow and these regulators have a same wire as you can see three yellow three yellow this is another example of DC rectifier. It has a three yellow wire. This is a DC regulator and rectifier. But in AC example, we have only two output for charging system with a different color, yellow and white. It voltages may reach 50 volts, but 
the lamps and other electrical device are around 12 volts let's go to show you for this i brought my board and attached the stator to it i rated the stator with rail we have nothing to do with a pickup and ac power and only use the output of the charging coil yellow and white i prepared four wire with same color green to ground yellow and white to the charging coils and red for charging the battery i use the ultimate the voltmeters must set on the AC volts. As you can see the voltages is not high because the my drill RPM is low. I use my test lamp. Now we install a regulator and check the voltages again. I use the AC 4 pin regulator. In following, I tell you how to install the old regulator. As you can see, the voltage is limited. Let me show you on motorcycle. First, I must disconnect the regulator wires. I have disconnected the regulator wires and let's start this way from the regulators, yellow and white. As you can see, the voltage is high and can damage the battery and when the RPM goes up, the voltages go up and the bulbs burn easily. As you saw, easily destroyed. As you can see, the voltage is high and can easily damage the battery. The main reason what the battery did actually that's it now i will connect the regulator wires again and let's start and check it As you can see, the voltage is limited. But what should be the standard voltage? We set the multimeter in DC volt. When the motorcycle is on, the voltage should show a number between 13.5 and 14.5. This number is the same in the all 12 volt motor vehicle. As you can see, these regulators is completely held. Regulators, which are actual rectifiers, have a part such as MOSFETs and strong tube bridges, which are installed by epoxy resin glue in aluminium box. As you can see,
which has a better cooling and prevent short circuit well now we understand the function of the regulators let's go to how install them Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like it and share it with your friends. Write your comments and questions. And for see more videos, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. Farewell now.